Hello right back, it's Joe Plays Games, back with another Ark Survival Evolved news video. Guys, you've seen me talking very, very unhappy with the news that console extinction is delayed to the 13th, but that doesn't mean I'm stopping with the console news. Obviously, Ark Extinction is big business, and today, with the charity live stream, like I told you in an earlier video, they are showing some gameplay. They've just got to one of their benchmarks, and here is Orbital Drops. So this is up on a Twitch channel right now, it's live for 24 hours, you can go and watch it, they're talking about the game, all sorts of things, but this little segment was just about the orbital drop, as you can see the shield is getting bigger, good luck Thick Freedom trying to copyright claim this mother trucker, you can spin on my finger son, anyway, back at hand. They are going to be drops. This is the way that you're going to get your drops now. There's no more beacons as far as I know. It is these orbital drops. And you will then have to actually defend it against waves of dinosaurs. That's not really new information. We knew this was coming. They announced this a while ago. Part of Extinction would be some more gameplay mechanics for PvE. Which is much needed. When you've got all your dinosaurs sitting in your big massive barns. What do you do with them? They don't often go out or do much. So now you've got a reason. You can take your dinosaurs you can go on these orbital drop runs they come in all different shapes of difficulty they're going to be starting out like easy and they'll come color coded but they'll go up to like epic and legendary hard difficulty and these ones are going to be so hard you're going to need tech tier to complete it maybe big tribes too Obviously, there is a lot, a lot of footage here from Extinction. We're getting a first real good look at the map that isn't recorded on someone's phone. And it looks okay. It's very sparse. I guess this is the desert area. There's going to be more areas than this. And so there's not too much to reveal. We were desperately seeing if there was anything else we could see in the background. I did see what appeared to be some sort of radar dish. See it right there. And it had like a little yellow red light on it on the top of it right in the distance. But that was about all I could really gather what was there something different you can see it on the left hand side by the extra life a sign so good stuff they're going to be completing these waves the waves come in terms of there might be raptors in one wave and then there might be corrupted pteranodons in another wave and they just get harder and harder and harder What's interesting that on PvP, these orbital drops won't be just for you. Someone else can come along and literally steal the loot that comes out of the orbital drop. And the orbital drops go really on forever once you get to the higher levels. In fact, legendary drops can pretty much keep going and going and going. However, though, if you die, if you lose, you will lose any loot that you've managed to get hold of in that time. You kind of have to cash out. This is only on the hardest difficulty. The lower ones have a set of waves. So for this one, there's only five waves. You complete it, you get the loot, you get the rewards. But on legendary difficulty, it will carry on going until you're ready to tap out and take what you can get. Prizes start at level eight and I do believe other players can come and take your stuff literally if you just complete the uh, level they might be able to come and get all the stuff that pops out of it I'm going to show you that as well obviously that's coming too but you can see here the dome starts shrinking it is meant to be a protective barrier so it will keep dinosaurs out but it isn't there forever it will start breaking when dinosaurs are attacking it and so that means that you're going to have to eventually just rely on being out in the open with the orbital drop being attacked by anything there is going to be two different types of attack for the dinosaurs some some of the dinosaurs will just go for players and other dinosaurs like your dinosaurs or your tribes make dinosaurs and some of the dinosaurs that are attacking you the corrupted dinosaurs are going to head straight for the cash straight for the what will drop so you may have to really think strategically in your tribe who's going to defend the cash who's going to be running around taking care of the dinosaurs you'll see in a minute the shield is going to shrink because it has taken enough damage you may be able to build up some defences around the area if you're going to call a drop down and that's going to be pretty much a good way to give yourself a little bit more protection. The items that are inside the drops are pretty unique as well, as well as new info that if you kill any of the corrupted dinos, you've got a good chance of getting organic polymer. That is something they're going to drop. They're going to drop lots of resources or some resources, and that is one of them that they spoke about in the stream. So there's a lot of people in the stream talking right now. We've got, I do believe, Zane, who's in charge of playtesting, and then in the background, they've got one of their communications guys, and said the creator of Primitive Plus, who now works as a pretty much general gameplay designer for Ark Survival Evolve. So it's pretty interesting stuff. I'm really intrigued about these big huge walls you can see behind it and there's a big dome. In fact there's two domes. They seem quite close together but maybe that's just the way the look of the things. But when you see the domes how close they are it's really weird. It's really odd. It definitely feels exotic. I am actually liking the map. I like the look of it. It does look a bit sparse 
but I am liking the look of it. It does look a little bit interesting, this desert area. Pteranodons look absolutely crazy. I'm not 100% sold on the Corrupted. They do, I mean, I mean, I guess, thank God we can't tame these guys, because I don't think I'd like to look at a Corrupted Dinosaur as my tame all the time. A bit like having a, a bone skeleton skin all the time. You just get a little bit boring. But you can see the dinosaurs are attacking the shield, trying to get through. There's a big mix of them. They're all Corrupted as well, so it's only going to be Corrupted Dinosaurs that are going to attack you. No other dinosaurs, I do believe. But they will get harder. So as the levels go up, they are going to get harder and harder and harder. And there's... It signifies with what colour drop is. So I think he said it got like green, um, there's going to be like yellow, and they all signify a difficulty or hardened level. So you really will have to be high level if you're taking on like a legendary or epic level. And like I said, you are going to probably have to have a big, decent tribe, or at least some people that are wearing tech gear to take on these drops. I was a bit confused because I missed it trying to, you know, write notes down. I actually didn't write the main note was, what do these drops occur? Do they do them on their own? Do you call them in? They will arrive just like supply drops, but they'll fall in the same place uh, periodically. So you won't exactly know when they're going to fall, but they will fall in them same sort of spots. So you will be able to kind of maybe get a rhythm or a game plan for it, or you'll be able to come check them out. We well, don't know if anyone ever really worked out how supply drops work or the beacons work in normal arc. Maybe there'll be a way that people can time it and know when these orbital drops are going to hit. There is a command to bring them down yourself, and that's what they're using here in the gameplay. That's why I was a bit confused when going over it. I thought that maybe it was just something that you call down yourself, but they're using a sub command drop, which is pretty good as well, because it means if you've got your own single player servers, or you're renting your own server, you can have a bit of fun with friends, you can start off your own event, and everyone can take part, because you'll be able to put a command in, and it will make the drops appear, so that's really good stuff, I like the idea of that massively. Um, there is lots, lots going on here, you can see him taking on one of the dinosaurs, a corrupted raptor, it definitely looks really weird compared to a normal one, like it's so odd not seeing the feathers on its head, just like a bald head it almost looked like it was a new one and this is one of the waves of the raptors that they were speaking about you're gonna need lots of different types of weapons obviously maybe a ranged weapon because one of the waves will be a, some sort of airborne they do confirm as well that you may come across corrupted wyverns later and we've seen that in some of the leaked footage and what people were talking about on social media when they went to twitchcon they got a chance to play this themselves a lot of people so we do know some of this info regular dinosaurs are there of course we do know that now the die wolf is confirmed it's on the map normal tranodons are going to be on the map so that's really good to see as well as obviously stegosaurus and trike we presume most dinosaurs are going to be on a map if not all of them from all the dlcs that would be really cool. Obviously, Wyverns are there, or the Corrupted ones are there. It'd really be nice to see all the creatures on one map. I'm not too sure about Aberration creatures, though. I think it'd be a bit weird if there were creatures like Reapers, because it would kind of mess with the lore. Like, you know, I don't know how that's going to work. You guys let me know. Do you want to see Aberration creatures in the game on Extinction, or are you done fighting the alien star ones? Loads and loads of space. I mean, you can tell this map has been made by the Ragnarok devs because it just looks huge. There's four of these big massive domes as well, and these are where the Titans are going to be running around. Remember, exclusively, I told you guys first, there's actually four mini Titans and then a big King Titan weeks ago. So... We've got loads and loads to cover. I can't wait to get my teeth into this even more. What are you thinking now you've seen this footage? Is it what it's kind of built up to? This is only one facet. Obviously, this is one of the brand new features with the supply drops to really make that PvP game, PvE game, I should say, more interesting. The PvP does sound interesting, and I like the idea that you can just wait for someone to clear out some waves, then you can come and take the loot. I've got to pop the loot up in a minute. I nearly finished one of these waves. I might even fast forward a little bit just so you can see. Here's the little sign that pops up, OSD defense complete, and we should now start seeing the loot pop out of it. It's going to look pretty epic the way it just shoots out. I like the idea of the loot drop as well. It looks really cool. I like the look of it. We saw in these little packages you're going to see in a second that there were tech engrams so it looks like you're going to be able to get tech engrams here and you'll be able to make them you can see them all popping out now so that's what someone who else is playing pvp can come around and steal they'll literally come along and just take all that stuff away from you even though you completed the wave so you've got to think about that stuff you can see the tech replicator there it is color coded so these drops you will be able to see the sparkles that means it's that level so it's going to be either ramshackle or mastercraft etc so you can definitely go for the best loot if you're looking for the best loot go for the colored ones clearly and then obviously if you want anything else like normal resources you can see there's all sorts there a tech cryopod there as well it is a bit mad that we're getting these kind of things in a sort of very easy spy uh, 
Oh, it was supply drops, I should say. So, yeah, really interesting stuff. Obviously, there's going to be a lot more questions, and you guys are going to have more. I don't want to go too mad on that kind of thing now. I want to get proper testing done when I get a chance to play it myself, which I will be doing. I will be showing you guys as soon as it goes live on PC. But don't worry, I'm still going to be showing you plenty of gameplay on Xbox PS4. In fact, my Let's Play will not properly start until the PS4 comes out. I'm showing you guys on the PS4, and I'm still doing lots of things. I'm starting up Dino War. Wars again we're going to be doing dino wars with the kaiju we're going to be doing some big stuff for my patrons i am really looking forward to extinction i just wish it would come out at the same time as pc i am jay plays games don't worry i've still got to keep you up to date later on with taxidermy and any of the other big announcements hopefully we'll get to see a proper full trailer for the game as well i am jay plays games i'll see you rat bags later